What's up YouTube, Max Like Strings here. Today I have a video teaching you guys how to string an SDX Surgeon with a mid-low pocket. I've gotten a bunch of requests for this pocket because it was in my review for the SDX Surgeon. Uh, it consists of special interlocks and stack special interlocks. Uh, so it creates a nice mid-low with a pretty nice channel and when you put some shooters in, it's a really nice pocket. So let's get started. All right guys, so let's get started. First, you're gonna take your sidewall string I've already strung the opposite side just so after I finish you can see how the pocket looks strung up. So you're going to take your sidewall string, tie your knot at either end, doesn't matter, and you're going to put it through the third sidewall hole down from the top, so one, two, three. And then you're going to come up through the first sidewall hole and pull it to the side. And then you're going to go through the same hole and up through the same diamond just like you would when you're anchoring a top string. So I like to call this knot the interlock to the same hole knot. Um, I'm, I don't know if there's an actual name for it, but that's what I usually call it. So here we're gonna do our first special interlock, or SI. So to do a special interlock, we go down through the diamond, and we're going through the very next diamond, and we're gonna skip this next sidewall hole and go to this one. And so we're going to go through, and then through this loop right here, pull it through, just like that. Pull up and down, and that creates kind of like a one. But to get it to anchor to the side, of the, to the side you're going to want to come back up through the hole, through that same diamond, and kind of pull it, pull down, and that's going to be a special interlock, just like that. Next we're going to do another special interlock. I believe we have four in a row. Um, so you're just going to do it to the very next hole, go down through the diamond, through this loop right here, pull up and then down to make it tight, then come up through the diamond again. And then another special interlock, go down through the next diamond, through the next sidewall hole, and then up through. And then one more. Okay. Alright, so now that we've finished the special interlocks, the four in a row, we're going to do a stacked special interlock or a stacked SI. So to do that, you're going to go down through a diamond and then down through another diamond, almost like a two, except you're going through the top instead of the bottom. And then you're going to kind of push the diamonds up so you have room to go through this very next sidewall hole. So the only sidewall hole we skipped is the one at the top right here. So make sure you're doing every hole. And then you're just going to do it like a regular special interlock. And go up through one, and then go up through the second one. And then pull down, and that's going to bunch the diamonds right on top of each other. As you can see, which creates starts to create the pocket, and then to also to create start to create more of a pocket, we're going to do another SI right next to it, which will bunch it closer to it. So we're going to go down through through this loop right here, and then up through. So now I've got a bunch of spe special interlocks and stack special interlocks starting to form that pocket right there. And then our final one, we're just going to do a one, skipping a hole. But instead of going up through the, the diamond, I'm going to go down through just like we've done with the special interlocks because it keeps all the diamonds on the outside of the head, which makes it look nicer. It really doesn't matter which way you do it. That's just the way I do it for this pocket. And I'm going to skip a hole. I'm going to go through this one. And then there's our one, just like that. And then our very last diamond, I'm going to go down through. And instead of going from the outside in, we're going to go inside out. Just like that. And then our, you're going to tie a knot as close as you can to this last hole. So come through, make a loop, and come up through the loop. And keep it tight to the side. And there you go. There's your mid-low pocket, the nice channel. Um, you can put some straights in here, maybe a U, 
Um, but any really shooter setup would do nicely in this pocket.